Hi guys, it's Rob here, picking up where we left off. So, a client computer is a computer requesting data or services. Now, the server is the central computer supplying the data or services requested of it. A protocol is a set of rules that computers must follow to transmit data electronically. The protocol that enables all computers to use data transmitted on the internet is called TCP IP, or the Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol. Packets are fixed length, fixed length blocks of data for transmission. An IP address uniquely identifies every computer and device connected to the internet. Sampling rate, the number of times that a song is measured or sampled and converted to a digital value. Now there are five types of computers and these uh, starting at the top are most expensive and sort of biggest working down to smallest and least expensive. So we have supercomputers, mainframe computers, workstations, microcomputers, and microcontrollers or embedded computers. When modified for use in machines other than computers, microprocessors are called microcontrollers or embedded computers. Now Moore's law is the number of transistors that can be placed inexpensively on an integrated circuit doubles about every two years. So that's sort of the, the implicit rule there or the observation that he made, that Moore made, is that the number of transistors that can be placed inexpensively on an integrated circuit doubles approximately every two years. Now, the progression, okay, to integrated circuits, or what we use today, was from vacuum tubes to transistors, and finally we have integrated circuits. Now, the recent trend in computing is using more parallel processing rather than shrinking things. So we've begun to start using parallel processing rather than just making things smaller. Now, a bay is a shell or opening for installation of electrical equipment. Now, when you run a program, you want to run a program from memory, never from the hard drive. And registers are faster than the main memory. Alright, so let's zoom out here if we can. So, here is our little um, chart, sort of. And basically, we have registers at the top, right? Then we have the catch and the RAM, uh, which is the main memory. Now, these are primary, which are temporary storage. So the, the cache and the RAM are primary or temporary storage. And now, secondary or permanent storage encompasses hard drives, flash drives, and network drives. And then down here, we have input storage, I.O. devices, keyboard, mouse, and removable media. So up here is most expensive, obviously, so register is the most expensive form of memory. And there's many types of RAM depending on the chipset that you buy. Temporary storage areas are volatile, and memory is cleared out when you turn off the computer. You need to have a steady power source on it. Now, 8 bits is equal to 1 byte, which is equal to 1 character. Locality is, very important, is a very important concept, especially for the... IT 101 class. Now, most data and instructions have temporary locality, or information previously used that will most likely be used again. Spatial locality is that instructions closely following the current instruction will likely be performed soon. And data and instructions likely to be used again soon are kept in the cache rather than being returned to RAM so that they can be accessed faster. Now, silicon replaced graphene and microelectronics. That's just a note there. And then, so binary, okay, numbers are base 2, and digits are 0 and 1. Decimal is base 10. Hexadecimal is base 16. And we're going to stop there, guys, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.